Hello, it's Jay here with Thumb Culture. Um, I'm going to check out the new game Carry On. Carry On? I'm not sure the pronunciation. Uh, this is a game that recently dropped on Game Pass. It came out just last week. Is that recording? Uh, I've completed this now and I will be writing a review for Thumb Culture. But let's. I've completed it, so I'm going to hit New Game just to show you what the intro to this game is like. So as you can see, it goes straight into it. It's got a bit of a uh, pixel art style. And in this game, you play the creature. So I'm that little red goo monster. Now, starting off, can't really do a great deal. You can roar, and that's about it. So we're going to go explore. And the actual movement is so fluid. Like, I can just hit up and down and just run about really easily. absolutely love how all the little tentacles look. See, I can go in the water as well. It's a wicked little game, so obviously it pits you as the creature rather than the people running and hiding from the creature. Um, very reminiscent of... Without spoiling anything, we'll just say one of uh, Playdead's games. You can eat people, that's how you heal, so the blocks at the top of my health. So I've just eaten them and got a bit of health back. Rip off all these grates. Yeah, it feels absolutely brilliant to control. Let's eat him, get some health. Left his legs, get them as well. So now I'm obviously a bit bigger. Now I've eaten everyone. But not only that, I'm uh, up to full health. Which are the, the green sort of chevron y, scaly type shapes at the top. Right, and we can also manipulate levers. Because that's how we unlock our way out of here. Now, this game is a bit like a Metroidvania, so you will actually revisit a lot of these areas as you gain new skills which are the, represented by the icons around the screen um, for example there's like a, you can see there's a tube all the way to the left there uh, but I can't get to that I can't get through this glass at the moment you can also see there is something through there which I can't get to yet this is your save point, so effectively these are your bonfires or your typewriter rooms. These are your save points. They might change the level, for example there, open the door, um, or it might just be a checkpoint so you can uh, kind of heal or later on as you get more skills it might become crucial to do that. So we're already out of the first area and we can see that there are, that we've only done half of what that level entails, 50% there. We have escaped, so we've, we've completed the level, but we haven't done everything it entails. Now I absolutely love the animation of this, it kind of reminds me of The Thing, one of my favourite movies of all time. You can just trash the place. So here's another example. I can't rip through that just yet. Another skill to break through there. So I need to remember that and come back to it at a later date. I'll switch here. Press it down. So that's opening up the below. But there is a way up here. So let's explore a bit. Yes, yeah, so we're in another dead end here. We can see a geezer up there. Or a lady. Let's head down. As you can see, it's really snappy. To say it's um, pixel art, uh, it just runs so fluidly. It looks amazing. Here's another section where I can only go in the direction of the arrows, so I'm going to have to come back to that. Yeah, I just wanted to show this game off. I am thoroughly impressed with it. Very fun. I will be writing up a full review of it because I've had so much fun with it. So now we're going to enter this area and again it kind of all mutates but this is the first level 
if you like. There's sort of there's that open world sort of hub area we were just in, and then you go into these sort of levels, these sections that you can visit. And in these are things for you to collect or new skills to gain. And I think every level has a hidden bit of DNA or biomass that you can collect and that allows you to get more health and, and survive attacks and things like that. Our aim in this area is to get through this uh, this door here with the three panels in the background. So I need to work out how to do that. So first of all, pull the lever. We've got a guy here with a gun, so we need to take him out before he shoots us. Snack time. Room. Again, here's a, a save point. Now if I go in there, you'll see this bit of the level gets destroyed by me sort of spreading through the area. And that's number one of three parts of that door. So if I just revisit that door, this is the door we're trying to get to, and now we've infected part of it. And if I roar, you can see the roar of where the points we need to get to. So there's that point at the bottom there. Let's keep pushing through a little bit. Do the doom with a gun. Drum. As they shoot you, you will start to lose health, which is why you want to deal with them as quickly as possible. Just absolutely wreck the place. And you'll start to see sections like here can't reach through that to hit that switch. So again, there's going to need to be some sort of skill or something I need to unlock. They're still alive up there, so we need to make sure we deal with that. They took a shot at me, took one of my health point, uh, hit points off. Again, another save point. But as mentioned before, this will probably be part two of that door. And there we go. As we start to infect the station or the base. Right, this looks a bit like the vial we escaped from. So if we trash that, we can then go in and merge with the samples that are inside. That's unlocked a new skill down in the bottom right. This new skill is like a little web shooter grabby type move and already you think back i just saw a switch that involved needing to do that so again it's that metroidvania feel here now. there's a lot of uh, little details as well like here there are chains and as i go through you actually move the chains there's a lot of detail in the game it all adds to that sort of alien style Horror. And now we've got to decide how we take these people out. We need to kind of deal with them one by one. We haven't really got many skills just yet. We just need to make sure we don't get caught up, you know, by all these people and just get shot. So there's all sorts of different routes you can take. And a lot of it starts to make sense as you unlock the skills. And there's part three. Oh no, it's not part three. That's actually opening, opening the entrance. That was the room we were just in. Let's revisit that. And you can actually see then final part. Yeah. There we go. That should be part three of the door. And we've opened the way to get back in there now because we pulled that switch a moment ago. So if we head back. Go through there. 
this will be us emerging in another part of that open world. And again you can see that there's still more to do in that area but we're going to have to probably revisit it once we get some more skills so yeah that's just the first section of uh carrion carry on carrion however you pronounce it uh, but it's a really neat little game so i'd recommend checking it out it is free on game pass at the moment so it's a no-brainer really uh, but that's all for now so thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe and there will be a review link once I've written it down in the description below. Thank you very much.